So just taking you back to the desktop and the links folder, I do have a text file in here that has um, just the headings in. Um, so copy headings. I'm going to double click on that to open it up in Microsoft Word, mainly because sometimes there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing it. You might just want to copy and paste from Microsoft Word. So I just want to take short snippets of the text from in here. So the I need the title, which is this one here. So if I swipe across it and then copy that with a keyboard shortcut, I can then go back to InDesign. Um, and in here then, click on my selection tool. Make sure that nothing is active in the document by left clicking at the side. I still have the text layer active in the layers panel, so I can just go to edit and I can choose paste. And it pastes the text in there. The end result is exactly the same as what we did before. It strips all the formatting out. Um, and in actual fact, it, I had body indent active inside of there. So um, it's just apply that existing style. So I'm going to click back on basic paragraph and then I'm going to drag that text frame up so it appears one baseline down from the top uh, of the blue box in there. And then I'm going to drag this all the way across here um, to, I think I need to go out quite far actually. So out to about here, plenty of room. Then I need to format the text, of course. So double left click on the text frame with the selection tool and then uh, to select all the text in there, command A to select all the text. And from here, this needs to be Myriad Pro. So if I drag up the list in here of my fonts in there recently used is Myriad Pro. I'll click on that. Um, I'm going to change the style of that to black. I will then change the size of that text to 98 points. So uh, 98, hit the return key and then change the leading value 87 points, press the return key. I will then choose to go across and click on align to baseline grid. I can hit the escape key in the keyboard and I'm just going to nudge that text frame up a little bit because I want the text to start right there, just near the top of the blue box, like so. So that's level with the sort of the left hand margin in there. So I'm, I'm happy with that so far. I'm going to uh, select all the text by double left clicking, pressing command or control A, and then I'm going to change the color of the text by going to the fill menu at the top and choosing paper to start off with then press return. And then I'm going to hit the escape key on the keyboard to come out the pop up. This word here for don't, this one is yellow. So I'm going to double click on that word, go back to the fill menu, scroll down the list to our dedicated TAB yellow to apply that, hit the escape key and then hit the escape key once more because this text and the way it's styled in this uh, Take a Break magazine has a blue stroke around the outside. So for that one, um, I do need to have the selection tool active from the top of the tools panel. And then I'm going to click on the drop down menu for the stroke, scroll down and pick TAB blue. And just make sure that that is set to one point in there. I might need to just pull that down a touch inside of there. It won't look as though it makes any difference whatsoever at the moment, but there will be a picture that will go behind this word don't and the blue outline will make it uh, help it stand out from that picture. So um, that's what we have inside of there. That's for the heading um, and I will then click away from there and we need to add the subheading in here. So this one, go back to Microsoft Word and then I will select this paragraph, copy that with the keyboard shortcut, go back to InDesign, make sure none of the text is active and then go to edit and choose paste, drag this up in here and then grab the handle wherever it is, there it is, drag that along down to the bottom of the blue box, just to give me enough room. I mean, I probably don't need this much room in here, but uh, double click on the text frame, command A or control A to select. And then from here, I'm going to click back on basic paragraph just to reset the formatting in there. And then from the list in there, I will go and choose Clarendon. So I'm going to scroll back up in here. And it's this one here. And then going to change the style to regular oblique and uh, change the size to 18 points and then also change the leading to 18 points as well uh, with that one done um the text for that one again is mostly white so up to the top change the again the character formatting it knows i'm editing text so i can just click on paper for white hit the escape key and then this one down here which contains the name of the person that one, drag across there, that also needs to be yellow as well. So we've got a dedicated yellow, of course, for that one. 
and hit the escape key. Um, I'm just going to pull that in a little bit here um, from that right hand side. There we go. I think we've got enough room for the photograph that's going to drop in there. It's a square ratio photograph, so that should be fine for us. So that's the deckhead and then that's the intro text in there.